campaigns with the infrastructure surrounding the river market. The Tuscaloosa City Council has decided not to immediately fund construction on Jack Warner Parkway. Instead, they'll wait for the major overhaul the city is planning for the fiscal year 2014. Tuscaloosa City Traffic Engineer David Griffin says the upcoming project on Jack Warner is long overdue and not just because of the entry concerns at the river market. You'll notice that there are a lot of dips and dives. The road has become uneven. There's been differential settlement over time. You'll have to remember that this, this highway was built in 1968. Griffin says the Jack Warner Parkway project is needed not only because of the road deterioration, but also because of the increased traffic flow from other riverfront developments. On your home team crime watch tonight, you can help fight crime. Information you have may be that missing link of information law enforcement needs to find a suspect. Here's this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Hello, my name is Ted Sexton, the Sheriff of Tuscaloosa County. Thanks to your help, we have three captures in this week's Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. Terrell Johnson was arrested on robbery in the first degree. Donnie Hunts was arrested on unlawful distribution of a controlled substance and other charges. Meredith Hollingsworth was arrested on unlawful possession of controlled substance and other charges. That makes a total of 404 captures. Now, we need your help this week in finding more of Tuscaloosa County's Most Wanted. James Andre Harris, Jr. He's wanted on eight counts of robbery in the first degree and other charges. He's a black male, 18 years of age, 5'6", 175 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, last known to be living on 23rd Street in Tuscaloosa. Amanda Diane Green, she's wanted on the charge of chemical endangerment of a child, three counts. She's a white female, 29 years of age, 5'2", 180 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes, last known to be living on Jaguar Lane in Coaling. Anthony Heath Wyatt, also wanted on the charge of chemical endangerment of a child, three counts. He's a white male, 36 years of age, 5'9", 160 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last known to be living on Jaguar Lane in Coaling. If you have any information on these subjects, especially Harris, please call us at 205-464-8672 or go to our website at www.tcsoal.org. You can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And working together, we'll continue to make Tuscaloosa County a safer place to live. The Bryant Museum says it's running out of space to put their trophies, and now they've made a video to prove it. And we have it. Take a look. That was Jack Blankenship. You may remember him from his famous face. The video was made by the University of Alabama's production house. Taylor Watson, Bryant Museum's curator, says the video is meant to remind everyone that the museum has a lot to offer. The main thing is to get the, you know, the museum's name out there and make everybody remember, oh yeah, the Bryant Museum. And also just to have a little fun. Have a little fun. Yeah. You can have some fun by going to see all those trophies at the Bryant Museum. They're open every day from 9 until 4, and you can contact the Bryant Museum at 205-348-4668. What a funny ad. Good for them. He makes that face. I would make a face worse than that if I broke yeah, that he does. Yeah, and when you just when you hear that crystal break, it's just it's a, mm, mm, bad. You, you don't want to be the person doing that. But what a good problem to have, though, right? Yes, So many is. trophies, you don't have room to put it. Yeah. Not a lot of places can yeah. say that. Another, another good problem to have is a little rain, Richard. 